So today, we are going to be unboxing the Annie in Crystal. This is the new Funko Pop from Attack on Titan. And not only are we going to be doing this, but I'm going to be going over my Attack on Titan Funko Pop collection, which is now complete with this. For now, there is the Levi one that's coming out soon. There is a lot that we haven't got from Attack on Titan that I hope we get soon, but they're kind of in between waves right now. If we do get another wave, the way people talk, we're supposed to be, but there's no real information on it right now. But this is one that I've been looking forward to for a while because it has been rumored for a while. So let's open it up and then we'll show you the rest of the collection. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive. If you'd like to order this, I believe it is available now on the website again, but it is also available at any of your local ones. They should have plenty. The one I bought it from, they had like 20 of them. So you're going to be fine if you want one. I don't think these will sell out. I wish they would, but I don't think they will. It is a really cool looking one here. As you can see, it is one of the deluxe ones. It's not a standard one, and it's not a moment either. It's not as big as a moment. I think it's actually better than a moment. But as you can see here, this is from her in the cavern underneath one of the cities. So as you can see there, you have the crystal. And I really like how they did the crystal here. So it is not solid. It is just a hollow little shell here. But it's a really cool way they did it. And you, she's not just standing flat there. You can see she's actually kind of supported by this base here. So really cool looking one here. I don't know what this is. As you can see there, I don't know why that's in there. It looks like a piece of paper is inside of there. Don't know what that is, but yeah. It's on the back, so I'm not as worried about it. I won't ever have the back facing forward. But yeah, I really like this one. This one turned out really well, in my opinion. And it, does it have the correct? Yes, it does. She has the correct band thing there. I was wondering if they was going to mess up and give her a uh, scout badge instead of the military police. So that's cool. Um, all right, so now, kind of a brief unboxing there, but I wanted to make a full-length video because I want to show you the rest of the collection. So I'm going to shift over there, and I'll show you that now. All right, so as you can see here, this is my full collection now. I put Annie down here by the moment. I put her on a little stand there so you can easily see her and not be blocked by the two moments there. But then... On the bottom here is all of the Titans that have came out over the years. Obviously, I just started getting into these not too long ago. So, some of these were a bit harder to find, especially like the Armored Titan here, or the Colossal Titans, and especially these two were really tough to find. I was kind of surprised how hard they were to find. Um, but I finally got them. The Beast Titan was also one that was kind of hard to find, but... Really good looking ones there. I'm not super big on how some Funkos look. I think they look a little goofy sometimes. But I think these actually translated pretty well. I'm not disappointed at these at all. And the Warhammer Titan here, I think, turned out fantastic. And even the Cart Titan. A lot of people will hate on the Cart Titan. I think it turned out really well too. If I have any complaints with any of them, it's this Aaron Hardened one, which is what I was kind of afraid the uh, Annie here was going to look like. It was going to be more of a solid blue, but thankfully we didn't get that. It's kind of hollow so where we can see all the way through there. Speaking of Annie, the standard Annie from a while back is up here. We also have some more from the Marley side over here. I did have to throw Kenny up over here, but I kind of put him with the villains, or at least this side of them. Now, I'm eventually going to have to add a, another stand down there if they make any more of these, but for now, we're good. The Porco here, as you can see, I had to add these little... This is a type of putty, and it keeps him from falling over because he's kind of top heavy with that smoke so i kept having to move him so i just eventually put that putty there and that helped steady him 
all the Levi's here. The cleaning Levi was actually one of the hardest ones to find. But we have them all now, as well as Irwin. And then Armin and the few errands that I have from the new thing. I had to put putty on a few of them as well. And then over here, we have all of the Sasha's. I do have both the metallic and the regular. Same with Armin up there. I do have the chase and the metallic of him. And then both the Historia, Ymir, and Hanji there. And then Mikasa has quite a few here, especially this old one here was kind of hard to find, but we do have it now. And then her newer ones, including the metallic one from Big Bad Toy Store. And finally, the Aaron's up here. That black and white one was not very hard to find, but it was a bit of an expensive find. But, and then the season four look there. I'm not super sold on this season four pop. I think it, it looks neat, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me as a pop, really. It just didn't turn out the way I was hoping for. Hopefully we'll get another one, because we do have two really cool ones in the moment here. We have this one, which I think turned out really well. I think that is a perfect pop. I wish we would have got one like that, and even a, like a damaged one like that one I really like. And obviously I hope someday we get a Reiner and Falco by themselves to put up here, but until then, we do have them in the moment, so. But... That is about it. I will quickly show you the rest of the Attack on Titan stuff here. I have shown it in a video recently, but I haven't really gone into very much detail, especially on the pops, in quite a while. So I thought I would show you how I display them and everything. Maybe give you some inspiration on how you could display some Funko Pops. I like to do another video like this once I am finally caught up with the Demon Slayer stuff, but we will do that in due time. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this is pretty much a pretty short video, but I thought it would be a neat change. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe for more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.